Yo, what's happening? with the Dark Horse here. So basically, I set up a dual room, and obviously, I let everyone join because you know it's a lot more fun to see a variety of decks. You know, so obviously, I set up a dual room specifying it to be fun. So we're gonna to react to the replays of the people joining. Um, there's a fair few, nothing major, but obviously, what I'll do is probably react to one and see how it goes really i'm hoping there's some like var variation and not just stuck with the meta but if not we'll jump in a duel fingers crossed someone's in it we duel them destiny hero standard normal rare type deck and yeah okay play replay let's do this all right if you enjoyed the video be sure to like leave a comment below of what deck you're running and um or ask a question or anything it helps um but yeah thank you guys for the support i appreciate it okay Ooh. okay cyber dark don't see it often and you've got blue eyes Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. okay no you know what nah, normally i would speed it up but i'm kind of want to take it at a steady pace at this point because obviously they're fun decks and it's not the same meta sweaty like 27 monster summons you know okay so the ash blossom negates the melody of awakening dragon which prevents obviously this person adding cards it's not bad. Draw phase, okay. Cyber Dark Horn. So you've got the possibility. See, I'm a big Zane fan, but I never really ran Cyber Darks. Um, but yeah, if this card is normal, summon you can take one level four, blah blah blah. If this card, if this card uses the effect, the attack of this halved. Okay. So you've gone into Union Carrier, which I believe activates its effect. But then you've got during your main phase when they would special summon to get the summon if you do destroy the monster, then your punch draws one card, then end the main phase. It's an ultra rare card. I can understand why. But it's interesting. You don't see it often. I'm a big fan of the negates, especially against the meta. Okay, not bad. Dragon's mirror face down. Solid play, especially if you're going into five headed dragon. What are you going to do? Go cyber dark horn or activate cannon? Okay. Okay, allows you to add edge. Horn comes out, which then allows you to target one in the graveyard. Equip it to your monster. Activate the effect. Isn't it fling inflict piercing damage? Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. Is that just a standard monster effect? This card attacks to inflict battle damage. Okay. Cool. So, Mass Dragon, what are you going to special summon? What? Um, the one star, maybe? Does it have to be? Yeah. Oh, the Ryageki came into play. This guy... Okay. He must go in 5 headed Dragon. Standard play. 5,000 attack. Beautiful. Love seeing it. Oh, you know how great it is. Like, I love seeing older cards being played. Especially duels like this. They're so much more fun to commentate on. And then obviously watch and commentate to than the same old you know oh eldritch oh okay here's virtual world oh here's i don't know whatever decks there are what's that lariscu or whatever lariscu i don't really know what its name is but yeah okay so how the bricks or whatever you want to call its name effect viela viela vela goes into celine queen activates the effect wow Damn. A deck isn't a deck without access code in it, eh? Wow. Wow. You know, I can't even fault that though. It was refreshing, you know, it was nice to see Cyber Dark. It was nice to see obviously Blue Eyes using a different type of way with Mass Dragon and stuff. I enjoyed it. Obviously, I'm going to try and react to a different video by a different duelist. So, obviously, there's a, diff a possible different variation of decks being used. But, yeah, this is solid. I do want to do duel rooms more. Also, if you're interested in doing theme duels, let me know. Oh, yeah. So, obviously, when I refer to the comment at the beginning, let me know what decks you use. I'm looking to do a theme duels. So, obviously, I'm going to try and build, you know, nothing, like, ecstatic. But, like, I want to do, like, Joey versus Yugi. So, like, a Red Eyes versus Dark Magician. Or Red Eyes versus Blue Eyes. So, let me know in the comments below what decks you're running. 
Okay, Baladroch is out with Link Karibo in protection. You've got Zombie World as well, which makes all monsters zombie. See, the great thing of... Oh my god, I love this. I love the fact there's some variation. Crystal Beasts are amazing. There's a specific... A specific trap card that can be used that can absolutely turn the tide on the entire duel. So the combination of Baladroch and Shiranu. Okay, Ash Blossom comes through. What we'll do is finish this video on a duel with me running Destiny Heroes. And we'll see how it goes. Hopefully. Okay, Crystal Beast goes into Spell of Trap Zone. Okay. See, I think rare value can be activated with one. Oh, it's two. Okay, Emerald Tail, so Crystal Beacon. See, every spell card is requiring one or two. This doesn't help the fact there's two Baladroches out, but the thing is, or Baladroch, however you want to pronounce it, this person may just scrape through in that aspect. Obviously, you can activate Crystal Beacon now, which allows special summon, probably going into Sapphire Pegasus. There we go. Sapphire Pegasus effect activates, allowing you to add uh, Carbuncle or whatever its name is. Ooh. Not bad. Not bad. This guy needs that spell card. It's a shame. I kind of wish I could check the... Uh... Oh, wow. You can check the top card of the deck. Wow. There's a lot of Link monsters and, like... I... You know what? It's genuinely nice to play... The, I, like, I would, I'm 100% down to playing these refreshing decks. Okay. Send four crystals, special summon. Oh my god. And up to the number of cards sent to your opponent by this card's effect. Whoa. At, oh my god. The tables have turned massively. Holy cow. Maxi. Okay. Obviously, I'll just pick up a card for every like special summon. Ash Blossom countering it. Oh my god. I, I didn't even pay attention to the Ash Blossom. I was just like blown away at what has even just happened then. Obviously, this spell card here was obviously activated. Crystal Abundance. Wow. Mellow Violet Sin as well. Obviously, when it attacks, it increases the attack by 300 as well. And also, during your main phase, you can obviously, during your turn you can banish an opponent's monster on the field so even if this person decides to set a monster summon a monster this duel is done obviously a special summon due to shiranu which is shogun saga but other than that but then small can't even activate its effect even if it had one because of infinite oh no you need to control no cards to use infinite impermanence my bad but decode protects it decode protects itself due to getting rid of obviously the other card Wow. Wow. Oh, you know what? If it wasn't for the Shiranu, I actually was voting for small a bit. Because it would have been such a sick turnaround, especially against the zombies. Right, so we've got small... Oh, the rematch. But a small still loses there anyway. Okay. Let's go with... Stick to the original thing. We're going to be obviously doing different react... Obviously react to one video. And that's it. Of a, unless they're dueling someone different. All right. Okay. Here we go. What do we have? Ooh. Fiend dragon. Super poly. Curious to what you're gonna go super poly with. Possibly. Predators. Yeah. That's what I need. If I end up deciding to run them, I think. Why is it not let me scroll down? What's going on with this game? A fusion in the dark. Fusion in the dark. Yeah. Obviously, if I was to run Super Poly, I'd have to either run Elementals or Lair of Darkness. And Lair of Darkness is probably... It, obviously, there was a deck build on it, a starter deck, like structure deck or whatever you want to class it as, that released a while ago. And that was solid. It was such a sick thing. But this duel is going to be so exciting to watch. Cubics taking on fiends. It's going to be... Oh. All right. Oh, mate. This is solid. All this guy has to do is summon a monster. Wait. Oh, one fusion monster. Wow. 
Once per turn, if you attribute a card, you control your Mate, that's so good. Obviously, I knew the Laredan that's having that ability, but... Mate, it's ridiculous because obviously you can activate these cards by using the opponent's monsters anyway. So without any sort of spell and trap like MST or Double Psych Twin Twister. I was literally going to about to get round to that one. Person's getting brave though. Thing is... I'm curious because I want to see the Big Donny. I'm assuming this would be super rare. Yeah. And then the Big Donny himself, this guy, Vessel... Would be an ultra rare. Uh... Yep, cool. That's fine. See, the um, that cubic vessel we don't have to worry about. Well, this person doesn't have to worry about so far. Oh, it's not vessel, it's cubic lord. Sorry. Because you need three cubic cards in your hand to reveal and then special summon it. But it has the most insane ability. So basically, it can attack for 3,000. I think if it destroys a monster, it can attack again. And also during the end phase, when this attack destroys a monster by battle, you can activate its effect. This card can make a second attack during the battle phase. During the end phase, each player takes 3,000. So it's definitely, obviously, I used to run it in Link Evolution, especially for a lot of the OTKs, but it's a phenomenal deck. There is no debate about it. Can't destroy it. Seed. Is that a stinker? Based upon the play, obviously, if the guy does decide... See, pulling cu oh, Cubit Wave such a good card as well, though, man. You can double its attack and have the opponents. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. Oh, my God. Nah, that was... I love Cubics. I genuinely... I don't know why I didn't start with Cubics. But, yeah. Uh, I've seen a video by Small... Um, that Duelist we've already watched as well. Duelist, okay. I think it's a lot of the same people again now. Before you go, small. Mate, everyone just faced the same person numerous times. You've got Ryan Arami, Ryan Arami, Ryan Arami. Okay. Um, alright. We'll go this replay here. Yeah, we'll go this replay, and then I'll go center replay. Ah, I'll just go straight center replay. Screw it. All right, here we go. I honestly, I like longer stretch out duel. Nowadays, Yu-Gi-Oh just focus solely on slapping and winning straight as fast as you can. You know? Okay, so we've got Mathmex versus Valkyrie. Valkyrie. Right, not bad. Math in defense mode, not bad. Oh, obviously, Triple Tactics Talent's a solid card. I used to have it, but I think I dismantled it because I just didn't use it. But yeah, Valkyries, oh, mate, they are just a phenomenal deck, especially combined with the Mischief of the Time and obviously the other cards as well. Soup, they're absolutely phenomenal cards because what Ryan's going to be able to do now, he'll be able to attack... And then activate the spell card. And then doing that, he can skip the turn of the opponent. I spat on myself a little there. Getting too, I'm getting way too into it, but yeah. Um, activate the spell card. Skips the opponent's turn straight back into the next battle phase. Ryan wins. Mental. It's crazy. If you pull the right cards, you can slap the Valkyrie cards, man. Nice. Nice. Okay. Right, let's see, let's see. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. We're in a duel. Destiny Heroes, obviously, it's been years since I've ran them. I genuinely do want to build one in the long term. A pretty, like, you know, efficient, solid Destiny deck to even attempt Road to Platinum with. Okay, not bad, not bad start. We have Drill Dark as well as normal summon. You can special summon a Destiny Hero from your hand with attack less than or equal to this card's attack, which is solid. Obviously, I need to look into getting Link Monsters, but yeah. Obviously, this guy, I feel like he's definitely running like a proper sweaty deck. Right. Level 6 your, uh, level six or higher, your opponent control cannot take this card for attack. So this card is summoned. Okay, when a card effect, that would inflict damage to you while this card is in your grave, turn this card to your hand. Okay. Um, what I will do while you have no cards in your head, set the turn to city, banish this card. Ooh. All right. Okay.
Right, okay. Normal summon. Activate Drill Dark's effect. Would allow me to bring... Oh, mate. I bet this this guy is going to be sweaty. Literally, I put fun decks in this... Oh, it's gone Max C. If it was Ash Blossom... Well, it wouldn't even have been Ash Blossom, but... Yeah, if it was something just to kind of ruin the fun of it, it would have sucked. Because it's kind of like, come on, man. I'm trying to make great content here, man. But this would be great. Because what I could have done is if I went two level fours, could have went into like that rebellion and stuff. So there's definitely room for improvement for this deck, 100%. But yeah. All right, from that point, we end our turn. Either way, I've got the defensive type cards that I need. You know, even if this this, this guy decides to summon, we obviously have bottomless trap hole. If obviously... All right, uh, let's go bottomless trap hole. Nope, goodbye. Preventing you from destroying any sort of cards on the field. Whoa, bro, take a break. Literally, go face down. How are you going to have two of them in your hand straight off the bat? Literally. This guy, mate, what's he trying to do? It's cool, it's cool. All right, okay, Dark City. Oh, ho, ho, this is amazing. Not a bad start. I don't expect to win this, but it's about having fun and a laugh and obviously just enjoying the aspect of things. I'm going to attack with Drill Dart because we inflict piercing damage. We also have Karibo. Reboo. Add one Karibo monster from your deck to your hand. Once per turn, quick fate, you can discard one trap, then take one face up monster your opponent controls. So it is 1500. Oh, God. See, that is as much as I hate it because due to the fact that you had DD Dynamite combo with it. I definitely believe it would be solid and effective, like in this deck as well. So what we got? If a monster you control destroyed, target one of those monsters special summon in defense mode. Oh, special summon a monster from your deck in defense position. Okay, okay, cool. Whoa. Whoa. I'm dueling a real Yugi fan. I'm all for this. He's got the Karibi family. Who's to die first? Ah, uh, you always kill the leader of the pack, don't you? You have no choice but to do that. I wonder if he has um, Wink Rebo and Wink Rebo level 10. That'd be good. Okay, well, so your effect's negated anyway. Rebabylon. Hmm. Okay, the Kribo family has risen and we are in for a treat, ladies and gentlemen. I honestly was a bit dreading it because I was a bit like, oh, please don't say someone sweaty, you know, obviously it was Drytron or something, you know what I mean? Or a meta deck. Meta. The pot agreed in the gold. Okay. So what are we looking at here? Link Karibo, okay, prevents us from... Well, if I attack it, reduce it to zero. The This is good, because while you have no cards in your hand, except to turn this card was sent to the grave, you banish this card on Destiny Hero. Oh, okay. I, why have I not been normal summoning then? That's my bad. I genuinely thought it had to be in the hand to activate the effect. Once per turn, you can detach one XZ from all this. Change it all monsters your opponent controls to face up attack. Oh, he's trying to win Karibo me. Oh. He's going win Karibo. There is no way you'd run those two without having win Karibo. This is fine. Once per turn, change all the attack position to come control. Wait. Wait, do both of them have the, that same effect? Your opponent takes any battle damage you would have taken from attacks on this card. Whoa. That's pretty cool. I'll go Book of Moon. Not be destroyed by battle or by card effects while it has an XZ material. Wow. 
Whoa. That's crazy. I want to face up one super punch. Send one light and one dark from your deck to combine level. Okay. Who's combined from your deck to the graveyard? Whose combined attack is less than or equal? Okay. This is a Karibo deck. This is cool. This is what I love, man. Like, I'm so glad the people that are joining genuinely are running fun decks. Um, no. Then I will go... Wait. That effect still doesn't apply, does it? We still take the damage. Uh. Wait. The XE stay on it even though it's turned for... Wow. Okay. Ooh. Right, after that, you special up to two. Okay, I've scattered special summon for the rest of this turn. Destitutes cannot be destroyed. Also, you take your back damage when they attack. The attack and defense. Okay. Wait. After this, for the rest of this turn. Oh, I wouldn't mind bringing it out, but no. Any clock tower. Whoa. Oh, wow. Oh, no, wait, what? Can't this person just activate his effect again, though? Oh my god, that's crazy. Wow. <laughs> okay. I've got no choice. I have to attack one of them. You have my full attention, sir. This is very interesting. Yeah. Okay. Mascarina. Okay, Rilling Karibo. If this card is tributed, draw one card. If your monster will be destroyed by battle, you can banish the card from your graveyard instead. Whoa. You know, it reminds me of that time when... Um, I think it was Kaiba was saying about Yugi and his Karibos. And his Karibo just slaughtered it. Yeah, it was. I think he had Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Was it? Was it? I think it... Otherwise, I'll... But yeah, basically, oh, it was just so good. It genuinely was. And um, Yugi ended up going multiplying the Karibo and they overtook. Right, first things first. Let's activate the cards affecting the graveyard. This is so much more fun to play than... Um, yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah, no, no, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. 
Play that face down. Proceed to the battle phase. Attack. Unless you've got honors. No? Nothing? Oh. I love it. I love it. Oh, I love it. There we go. Karibo's effect activates banishing it. I think it prevents... When this card... You can banish this card target any Karibo monsters. What? You can banish this card from your graveyard and target any number of Kribo monsters in your graveyard. Special sub. Jesus. Hopper, mate. You're a bloody dynamite, ain't you? Let's go for this Karibo. Go for the standard. Right, I have to... Re Oh, this is a problem because now if this guy is running, I wonder if like these cards are ultra rare or not because they're very good. This deck's solid. This is like a Yugi versus. Okay, no. It's like a Yugi versus um. That's the Phoenix type duel. What? 4,500? Freaking hell. Oh, you are a Curry Babylon. <laughs> what? If you have more models in the grave than your opponent, you special summon this card from your hand. Wow. No way. If you have more. Wait. During your main phase or battle phase, you can return this card to the hand. And if you do, special summon five monsters. Wow. If I can turn this around without having an extra deck, yeah, my mission will be completed. And this is why I need to know what decks you all are running so we can set some uh, theme type duels up. All right, okay, so we have Blade Master. Um. Oh, you are annoying. If your opponent's main phase, you can discard all Destiny Heroes control gain 800. Puts me on 24, 34. Mate, I ain't ever going to match that attack. Damn! This Karibo got some mighty power. The rise of the Karibo. Nope. Oh, I am straight up dead. No. See, even still, whether or not I'd gone defense mode or what. Oh. I don't think I have any sort of play. I think extra deck we need to focus. Maybe add some Nightmare Unicorn, uh, Phoenix. Um, maybe a possible... Obviously, I want to run Link... Uh, yeah, Link Revo. Anima. A little bloody late for the Destiny signal now. Well played. Good game, man. That was sick. Mate, this is why door rooms are so good. You see decks that you don't ever see in the meta. Like, obviously, I say the meta in ranked play. This is why, like, I think if they ever... They would never do it. But if they did a free, like, kind of thing... uh, What's the word? Like a free duel thing, how they used to do in Tag Force, where they had full card pool available and stuff, and you could test decks before you start crafting them and that. Like, it'd be amazing because I would abuse the hell out of it. I'd do it so many people with just temporary rental decks. You know? But well played, man. That's the sickest Karibo deck I've seen, man. Round of applause to this guy. Thank you guys for watching. And... You know what? Let's, let's Should we play one more? Should we play one more? Let's have a look. All right, we'll wrap things up, ladies and gentlemen. We'll continue this another time. Thank you guys for watching. Take care of yourselves. See you guys next time. Peace.
Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Tell your friends. Tell your family. Tell your dog. Or any pet. Make them a count. See you later. Bye. Peace.